Hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Sasha, and um, I'm arguing for the result of violence is a means to an end. And in this sense, diplomacy would ideally, in a perfect world, be the perfect solution to every scenario. Um, unfortunately, we do not live in a perfect world, and some people are just not rational. They, uh, they won't listen to reason. And in this sense, we have to use violence in order to convince or persuade them or you know, motivate them to do what is the best for the world, humanity, what have you. And violence is essential for protecting us as well. In, um, in terrorism, for instance, uh, terrorists, uh, more often than not, they won't be as susceptible to diplomacy. These are people who are driven by madness and they have a passion to inflare chaos and destruction and they will not easily listen or succumb to the words of wiser men and in which case we'd have to resort to violence unfortunately to persuade and dissuade uh, people from using violence as a means to cause destruction instead of a means to form a more peaceful society so it goes both ways, but in this argument, we're supporting for violence and to support in the long term. Ten peace. seconds. And that's it. Thank you. Uh, we have 60 seconds for uh, cross examination. Um, Go. Has there ever been a legitimate case where violence actually shut down a run? Uh, could you expand? I don't understand. Shut down on the violence? I mean, where it actually resolved the dispute. Well, I mean, uh, we don't have a war that's been raging forever. That should be evidence enough. Uh, usually, uh, when there's a force that proves that it is much stronger than the other, the weaker force usually succumbs and submits to the stronger opposition. And um, you can pretty much chronicle any war you want. Uh, well, let's go World War II. Uh, the Germans and the Japanese, uh, the Japanese, better example, uh, once they solved the atomic bombs, they immediately surrendered to the United States, and the violence has ceased to stop. You have not seen them start any war or any violent conflict since. Thank you. Uh, negative team has 90 seconds. Yes, my name is Larry, and I'm here to uh, negate this dispute, in which violence is not necessary to settle disputes. As you see, my opponent just explained that Yes, World War II has ended with the atomic bombs, but using that entered the Cold War. And with that lasted around 30 years until around 1990 when the wall was taken down. And still now, with that, the resources and materials that were used are now being used, are now being transferred to terrorists themselves to put violence against us. So if you think about it, Violence is just a continuous circle where it doesn't settle disputes, it just creates bigger problems. And this is why we negate this conflict. Thanks. Thank you. You've got 60 seconds on the affirmative to ask questions. Um, which, which one of us asks? Um, I think the, the um, second affirmative debater. Um, you mentioned that violence is... Nice and loud. Oh. You mentioned violence is basically a cycle where disputes are not going to be resolved, but in a case of terrorism where, you know, we are attacked um, spontaneously by just, uh, local individuals sometimes, and they're part of a dangerous regime or a gang um, across the world, how would you resolve that and defend your own nation or defend yourself? That's a tricky subject. However, the reason why they're mad at us in the first place is because we're putting violence against them. And in their eyes, we're the tenants. And this is where violence is not necessary. Okay. Good. The, um, the uh, affirmative has a closing statement. Uh, yeah. One or two goes. Um, it would be the second affirmative. Yeah. Hi, my name is Natasha. Um, I just want to say that violence is a means to an end in terms of, um, as Sasha 
um, elaborated on certain, I mean, especially living in a world of ter where we live in terrorism, I mean, there are regimes that support terrorism, uh, world leaders, dictators, that provide safe havens for training and um, provide a lot of material and sources to, to terrorists who are not um, as, as equipped to commit a lot of, I mean, to commit a lot of atrocities and um, attack, I mean, attack us with violence the way they do today. Thank and you. Uh, negative closing. That would be the first negative debater. No, that's the second. Mm -hmm. Nate, right? That's you. Mm -hmm. My name is Sierra, and um, as far as what everybody has to say, I can understand why some people agree that violence is a need to an end, but in a situation with terrorism, we're dealing with people that aren't afraid to kill themselves. We're talking about people that, like, terrorists, they're just all over the world, and you'll never be able to, like, actually find every single one of them. And in the case where you have people that are willing to just use violence in everything that they're going to do, all we're going to do is retaliate with violence, and it's just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, and we're just going to keep killing people that don't deserve to be killed, and we're going to ruin people's lives that are affected by those people who, like, being killed. And as far as that goes, there has to be another way to come about with a resolution. It doesn't always have to be with violence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.